Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, uh, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And lastly, we have a Patreon, and you guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys um have done for us or are doing for us we appreciate you guys for that every day i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this i'm not sure if someone suggested this or i just came across it but if someone suggested this a big shout out to you and today i'm going to be reacting to sad guru answers on marion's question probably about meditation so yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm eager to see what the video is about and yeah so without wasting time let's get into the video um i want to ask about meditation um i find that um meditation has really uh helped me explore life and quiet you know the noise and um also om being the first two letters of my name feeling connected to the om uh, it's really um it's really brought me a lot of peace i, I understand that this is an ancient practice mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that they don't have enough time to meditate you know because they have busy, busy schedules but i have a busy schedule so I always find time to uh meditate what is the importance of um creative creative people bringing uh, meditativeness into their daily lives in your words see the english word meditation causes lots of confusion because different people do different things and say it's meditation if uh, if it's in indian languages for every aspect there is a specific word describing that okay so we don't have that in english language so let's put it this way es essentially if you become meditative see, this is what happens in various practices we teach. If you sit here, your body is here, your mind is there, you are little away from it. That means there is a little space between you and the body, there is a little space between you and the mind. There are only two kinds of sufferings and disturbances in human life, physical suffering and mental suffering. Do you know any other kind of suffering? No. No. These are only two things. So if there is a little space between you and your body and you and your mind, once there is a space, this is the end of suffering. So once there is no fear of suffering, only when there is no fear of suffering, will you walk your life full stride. Otherwise, every step is a half a step because what will happen, what will happen is always holding human beings back. If you have an assurance, whatever happens, this is how I will be. If you have this assurance, you would walk your life full stride. So if you want to explore anything fully, in depth, if you want to touch profound dimensions of your life and in turn, profound dimensions of activity or impactful activity that you create. See, because in our life there are only two things. When it comes to our experience, profoundness of experience is what we are looking for. When it comes to activity, the impactfulness of our activity is all we're looking for. There's really nothing else. You can say it in so many different ways, but this is all it is. Profoundness of experience, impactfulness of activity, that's all there is to our lives. So, if activity has to be impactful, it's very important, our experience has to be profound. Otherwise, it'll be just little, you know, seasonal impacts may be there, flaky stuff, it'll come and go. That's not the point. If you really want to have impact over people, 
The most important thing is your experience of life must be profound. At least in that one dimension, it must be profound. Only then you can really cause impact. So investing in that direction, is it waste of time? It's a silly idea to think it's a waste of time. Everybody must invest time to make the experience of life very profound. If you want to make it profound in an unbridled way, the fear of suffering should go. Fear of suffering will go only when the, you have a little distance between you and body, between you and mind. For this, there is a simple process for yourself and all your people, you can promote this, it's free of cost, it's available to everybody. It's called Isha Kriya, I-S-H-A Kriya. It's available Isha Kriya. I'm about to write this down, go ahead. Yeah, it's available for everyone. Right now, millions of people around the world are practicing it. It's a simple process that everybody can do. I-S-H-A, Isha. Okay. Kriya, K-R-I-Y-A. Okay. Yes. This is a simple thing that you can do to bring little distance between yourself and your instruments of work on this planet. The only way you can do anything in this world is because you have a body and you have a mind. If you lose any one of them, you can't do it, all right? right. People are trying to lose it every Saturday evening, they think they're living. But actually, they're trying to lose their body and their mind. <laughs> yes. Yes. The reason, the reason why they're trying to lose it is, five days of the week they've suffered their mind. Mm. Two days they want to drown it in alcohol and preserve it for future. Mm. <laughs> wow. If you were not suffering your mind, you wouldn't want to intoxicate it, right? Right. Yeah, that's true. If, if you were really enjoying the nature of your mind, would you want to slow it down? Would you want to turn it off? Everybody is talking about turning off the mind. Why is it a such a torture? Because you have not learned to use it. Because the nature of the mind is like this. If I ask you, do you want a sharp mind or a blunt mind? What is your choice? Sharp. Sharp. So sharp. if you… if I give you a very sharp knife, and if you do not know how to hold it, if you hold… hold the blade side of it, the harder you hold it, the more you will hurt, right? So because you don't know how to handle it, you want to slow it down, you want to put it off, <laughs> somebody wants to completely destroy it, because you did not learn how to handle it. Because to bring a human being to this level of cerebral capability, it took millions of years of evolution, and now human beings are suffering their evolution, unfortunately. They want to live like grasshoppers. Wow. Wow. Woo! So I'm definitely going to uh, check out this, and let me make sure I, I'm saying it right. Ishi Ka Isha. Isha. I S H A Isha. I S H A uh -huh. K R I Y A. Okay. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah, because you're Omarian, there is also Am Mary. It is not to be said as Om, it is Am. It is just mm. three sounds. If you see, these are not things that you just make up. If you open your mouth and exhale, you will do. Uh, if you partially close your mouth and exhale, you'll do oh. If you close your mouth and exhale, you will do mm. If you combine these three in equal proportions, you will do uh, mm. Wow, okay. So this is not something that we made up. This is the basis of physical existence in this solar system. Now, uh, we've been saying this forever for thousands of years, but people were debating it. Now, you know, students from the University of Sheffield measured the reverberations around the sun, and they found the sun is constantly throwing out reverberations, which is arm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for this. Very interesting um, video. First questions first, what do you guys think about um, meditation? Forget the people that are talking about what do you personally think about meditation because to me, meditation is more like 
I wouldn't say it's a prayer, but it's sitting down and manifesting certain things that you want in life. It's continuously saying something that you want, repeatedly saying something that you want. That's why I feel like um, if you meditate, you see change in life. There's always something that's bound to change as long as you focus on that meditating point. I mean, don't just say, don't just meditate once and that's it. Find hours during the day when you can take part into such a thing. But I don't know, other people have differing opinions and I'm always excited to read um, people's opinions despite what they think. And yeah, your opinion is always welcome. So let me know what do you think about meditation is it good is it bad have you tried it have you not have you seen results have you not such things make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video